Welcome back, everybody. Moved outside uh, under a little cover here because uh, Dave, there's a little chance of rain. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. But first, we've got our friends from uh, Shapes Fitness for Women with us today. Christine Howell. Hi, how are Hi, you? I'm great. Thanks for having us good today. To, good to have you with us always. So clearly, we're working on our core which is more than our abs, we're working our core. That's right, friends. So we talk about the core being a cylinder from the collarbone all the way down to right below your glute cheek. Think of it as a cylinder, and when you move, you rotate or move with it, move it as one unit. And you want to make sure that you're moving in all, all uh, three planes of the body. So our 4 3 two, one blast off of abs is our four favorite exercises. And then we take it through all three planes of the body, remembering that your core work is the front and the back and the sides. Okay. Alrighty. So you'll see Ilda and Marta are offering basic options and then advanced options. Remember, move slowly through your core exercises. Slower is better. Slower better. Slower better. Time under tension and really focus on feeling your cylinder or your powerhouse work. Let me, let me ask a question here. You said we're moving to, with the, from easier to advanced. That's advanced to me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Marta's showing more of a basic option. She could even drop that bottom knee down to the floor and stabilize herself even better. Is this like a plank? It's a side plank, side really plank. good for lower back health. Okay. But again, it's, it's rethinking the plank. It's not always face down to the floor. A plank takes lots of forms. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so four, three, two, one is blast off. So you go, there are basically you're talking four exercises here, yes, right? Yes, yes, just four of our favorites. Okay, we've done, favorites. we've done, what have we done so far? So um, they started out with a dead bug, which was face up, okay. went into our side plank. Now they're going into the rotational or the transverse plane. Adding a balance challenge or an unstable surface on the BOSU ball yeah. is going to give them the wobbles. So they've got to zip Hard. up that cylinder or their core to really stabilize. And you'll see they're following the ball with their eyes, yeah. increasing that balance challenge challenge as well oh. making it even more challenging Marta too if she's unable to get to the floor you could sit in a chair and do that exact same exercise so don't feel like you can't do core work if you can't get down on the ground oh that's always been my excuse I can't do core work I can't oh, get you on can the totally <laughs> do it grab a chair you can even do a dead bug in your bed uh, oh well, yeah so I you found can, a dead bug in my bed but you that's don't want to find how I got there you I can do a dead bug in your I'm bed I'm sorry I'm sorry okay what's going on here <laughs> all right so now we're going into our standing rotational another option here standing so Ilda's got all the fun toys and here's our bird dog which is our number one favorite right here Marta on all fours this is the bird dog bird over here. dog yeah and she's gonna extend one arm good if you take yoga classes yeah. you might see this in a yoga class so Marta's doing it with range of motion but she can also lift and hold it focusing on stabilizing through the spine lengthening the limbs and remember your glutes are part so she's squeezing her glutes as well and really focusing on stabilization and, and in case you can't see I mean, but, her, but she's also got a resistance band absolutely well. so that would be a progression adding just a little more time under tension uh, getting a little more activation in her glutes Okay, so we've seen your four favorites. Our four favorites. And the, and the, and the biggest takeaway that I've, I've seen so far here today is you say, do it slowly. Do it slowly. Time under tension. Work on a scale of perceived exertion. On a scale of 1 to 10, you want to finish your core exercises at about an 8, 9, or 10 perceived exertion. Move slowly and make sure you're not stuck just doing face down or face up. You can stand, you can sit, you can lay on your side, you can rotate. Very well. Very well done. Yeah. Thank you. Good to see you. You too. Ladies, thank you. Take a break. Christine, thank you. We love you guys. Thank you. Take Such care. a pleasure. Appreciate it. Dave, it's a little cloudy out here. We moved under the cover just in it case. Is. Good job. And, and, and you know what? Good for you. But you can't be afraid of a little bit of rain. It would cool you off while you're doing well, your it's abs. Not me. It's, it's not me. It's You know it's not me. It's the camera we worry about here. I understand that. I understand that. Yeah, sure.